Okay. What I did was I took eggplant, I carbonized it, and then I activated it and tested its performance in a zinc air battery. Mm. And I found out that its performance far exceeds what is being currently used in the commercial, what is currently being used commercially, and that is yeah. platinum carbon, yeah. in terms of its stability. Right. So, um, and, and its efficiency was almost equivalent. I mean, it was equivalent to that of platinum carbon. So I think that was the whole amazing thing about the, this eggplant. Just one more. Okay, just look back at your notes. Very good. I really want to understand how the world works. So every time like my teacher teach me something new, right. I'll ask like more like I mean yeah. why like why do you say A is A? Why not why not A is B? You know that kind right. of that kind of thing. Yeah. So then um I guess when I, whenever I understand something, I feel like I know it better and that and, and when we know something better we can always improve on it and yeah. further enhance the knowledge. Yeah. When I first got the news that I was going to ISAF, I was already pretty overwhelmed. I mean, I was really grateful and like, really thankful, but I was also like shocked because I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. I mean, I was just doing science, like, doing my own experiments. So the battery that's like, you know, in the cathode, right? So I was focusing on the air cathode, and the cathode has a very important reaction that occurs there. And this reaction is known as the oxygen reduction reaction. So this reaction occurs really slowly right now, and it's a huge problem because we want to harness as much energy from the battery as possible. Because platinum is a very rare metal, and it's very hard to get platinum. As well as, the, the second problem is that it's non-durable. So I was thinking, why not, why not look at nature? Who knows there might be a ready-made carbon support that nature already provides. So I was looking at different plants and different vegetables, and then I thought like, hey, maybe eggplant is a, it's a good solution because eggplant is known to be very porous. And, and if I can remove all that water from the eggplant, I may actually get a carbon material that is really porous and has high surface area and therefore can be used as a cathode. Science is what I'm really interested and passionate about. Because I think I, I want to do something that is really meaningful, something that 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 will that will have an impact on the on the people around me or like the world or something that will contribute back to society.